This is Chris Siwasing, General Manager of Ghost Coast Distillery. And this is Rob Ingersoll, Production Manager and Co-Founder of Ghost Coast Distillery, located in Savannah, Georgia. So we opened our doors February 14, 2017. The building is located at the very western edge of the historic district in Savannah, right where we want to be from a historic standpoint. We want to make something made in America, and what's more bourbon than, or more bourbon, what's more American than bourbon, except possibly baseball and apple pie. We're doing four different bourbons with the intent of blending at the end of the aging process. Currently, we're planning on a three-year rest and then a release in 2020 for that. When we're at capacity, we'll store about 900 barrels or so. We've got a vodka and a flavored vodka. The orange vodka is extraordinary. 261 is the name of our vodka because it denotes the history of Savannah. Uh, the first prohibition in Georgia was uh, from 1734 to 1755. General Oglethorpe, a lifelong teetotaler, said no drinking. Basically, he imposed prohibition right out of the gate. Since then to 2016 was 261 years until we came along and threw them on a, on a liquor bottle and poked them in the eye and, and then also threw the no liquor, no lawyer on the, on the label because that was two of his four laws that he decreed when he first came to the shores of Georgia. We have a, a line of flavored whiskeys. Uh, Broughton and Whitaker is the brand. The first couple to come out will be a, a, a honey flavored and a ginger flavored. My first time to Louisville was when we went to the five-day distiller course in January of 2014. I was cyber-stalking on the interweb uh, one late night after consuming a bunch of whiskey. Literally did a Google search on how do I learn to be a distiller and Moonshine U popped up. The uh, networking piece of the whole thing is worth the price of admission without question. Randy Allender was uh, the person who helped design this whole distillery for us. Don Rogers helped us to, uh, really develop a business plan that got us into business. Thank you, Don. Thanks, Don. We learned a lot from Moonshine and really appreciative of what they taught us and it was a great asset for us. One of the things that we're getting ready to embark on is creating a signature cocktail bar here cocktail menu is going to be extensive between 24 and 35 different cocktail drinks. And we're doing things uh, that are a little bit different. Uh, we are doing it in a very small batch way in some circumstances because we have to and it's given us the opportunity to really explore what being a craft distillery is.